Hello guys, welcome back to Chevai Revisited channel. So in this video, I will show you guys how to guess number higher or lower in Chava, aka uh, guessing number game. So let's get started. Before that, if you are new to our channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive the latest notification. So let me explain more detail about the number guessing game. So our task is to write a Java program in which a user will get five trials to guess a randomly generated number. Below are the rules of the game. If the guess number is bigger than the actual number, the program will bring out the message that the guess number is higher than the actual number. And if the guess number is smaller than the actual number, the program will bring out the message that the guess number is lower than the actual number. And when the guess number is equal to the actual number, or if the five trials are exhausted, the program will end with a suitable message. Now let's talk briefly about the algorithm for this uh, problem. So this algorithm is quite easy. So firstly, we will generate a random number for user to guess. Then we use a for loop, take five inputs from the user because the user have five trials for each input ring, whether the number is smaller or larger than the actual number. Then if uh, within five trials, the user can guess the number correctly, bring that the user won. Otherwise, bring the user last and bring the actual number. Here is our guessing number game function. So firstly, I will create a scanner to input a guess number from the user. Then I will create a random number from 1 to 100 for the user to guess it. And to create a number from 1 to 100, I will take the minimum minimum number which is 1 plus with the maximum number which is 100 and multiply it with math.random math.random method here will, will return for us a random number and why we have ENT here in the bracket because we want to return an integer number without this ENT in the bracket uh, it will return a double value for us then I detect Declare k equal to 5, it means that we have 5 trials and integer i and guess is the uh, guess number that the user input. Then I bring some message that uh, please input the uh, uh, number from 1 to 100 and you have 5 trials. Then I use a uh, for loop to uh, from 0 to 4, it means that uh, uh, they have 5 trials and bring a message, guess the number, and take uh, that the input uh, of the guess number from the user. After they input uh, the guess number, it will compare if the uh, actual number is uh, equal to the guess number they just inputted. Uh, we bring now congratulation, you guess the right number and break the for loop. Otherwise, if the actual number is bigger than the guess number and the user have uh, some of the trials left, uh, we bring out the number is greater than the guest number and if the number is smaller than the guest number then we bring out the number is less than the guest number and after that if a uh, user run out of uh, 5 trials we will bring the message that you have run out 5 trials and we bring the actual number for the user in our main function, we just uh, need to call the guessing number again function and the game will be begin. So now let's run the program. So after I start the program, uh, they will bring a message for me. Uh, a number is chosen between 1 to 100. So guess the number within 5 trials. So I will input a number. Line, I will try something like 60 and the number is greater than 60, so I will try 70. The number is greater than 70, so I will try 90. The number is less than 90, so it may be around 85. It's less than 85, so I think 82 is the correct number. Oh no, the number was 71, 
and I ran out of five trials. So that is the whole program and it's going well without any errors. If you have any question regarding to this program and this problem, just uh, comment below. I will answer all of your questions as soon as possible. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, please give us a like and a comment your opinion below. And in the next video, I will show you guys how to find a single number in an array. So, see you guys in the next video.